Yes. Music master. Yeah, we are back again. And uh, I think it's a little bit boring to tell you that we have another new module. Who could think that Dubfer makes another new model? No, that's boring. Indeed, we have some new modules, but uh, it's not that spectacular. spectacular. So, um, I want to show you something totally different, which has nothing to do with the modular world. Okay. And this is that. That's a, a voltage-controlled ventilator, and it's a voltage-controlled magnet, and it's a voltage-controlled whatever. So it's nothing new, but uh, it looks totally different uh, from our modules. Well, what is it after all? Uh, it's nothing uh, but an interface that can be used to control whatever you want via media. Uh, the main idea was to control uh, organ pipes of classical organs via MIDI. What you see here is, is a magnet that is used to control the airflow uh, of, the, of the pipe of a classical organ. And uh, in, in Germany uh, and even in Switzerland, several uh, organs in, in, in churches are MIDIfied with this interface. But it can be used. Um, to control motors or lamps or magnets or whatever you want. Or you can turn on and off your coffee machine when, if you want. Home automation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, and uh, the good thing is that you can control up to 64 coffee machines. Yeah, that's really, yeah, that's very useful, yeah. And uh, is there, can you can control the frequency of the coffee machine also? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. And you can also control uh, espresso machines, so you can say, okay, at 9 in the morning uh, I want a coffee and at 10 uh, espresso. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is a very dark booth we have today. Is yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Is there anything happening in the dark the world of your Yeah, dark yeah, yeah. World? In the astronomy, the things go really crazy at the moment. And I will show you uh, what will hopefully end of the year or next year come out as what we say dark flow. What is dark flow? Well, this is uh, a new prototype of a module. I, maybe you have seen it already uh, last year, but we, we uh, improved a little bit. Uh, it's a trigger sequencer, uh, which will be available as a module, but also as a dark unit. And it will be probably called dark flow. Why dark flow? The astronomers found uh, a new effect uh, they do not understand. There are some galaxies which seem to be attracted by something outside of the visible universe. The movement of the uh, galaxies points out that there must be some kind of extremely massive black hole or whatever outside of the galaxy which attracts uh, the, the galaxies and they call it dark flow and so we had a problem the astronomy finds a new effect and we must, we must make, a make a new synthesizer so I hope they will have a little bit calm down because we do not have the time to design every year a new synthesizer. <laughs> So this, just to explain this, would this have uh, trigger sequencing? Yeah. So you'd have each row or each output, how would it? You have uh, eight rows, which uh, 16 steps each, and you can turn on and off each step. It's nothing uh, but a small Schaltwerk. We had a, a unit called Schaltwerk uh, about 10 years ago, which was very expensive and, and very large. and. Uh, I always say, honey, I shrunk the short work, <laughs> and that's the result, and the shrunk short work will be the dark flow after all. Ah, so it takes a tempo from external clock, is that the way it is? Yeah, it, you, you have a clock input that is used to trigger the steps, you have separate trigger outputs that can be used uh, to trigger a sampler, to trigger an envelope generator, whatever you have in your system. But this is going to be uh, in homage to the uh, astronomical yeah. discovery. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah, I think that we, we have some new cases uh, for the A100. The, the LC3, that's uh, a small case with only one row because uh, many customers were asking if it would be possible to have a smaller case. And we have this, this new case 
it's uh, the small version of the, mon of the monster base because some customers said, oh, monster is too much for us, so let's make a smaller one. Yeah. How is it possible to have it? You say, no, it is not possible to have a small modular system. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it, it's good if they start with a small, because I know it. they will not end with it. They will <laughs> They will later buy a, a, a larger system. I'm quite sure. There's only a small percentage which will stop with such a small case. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. See you next year. Thank you.